<coughs> Hello, my name is Martin Temple. I am doing scenario four for this debate assignment, and I am taking the stance of the uh, four position. Um, I have taken a couple ethics classes in the past and have learned a few basic uh, theories that I will be applying to this video, as well as some of the stuff I've learned in this management class. Um, so to start, I have scenario four, which there is an engineers international company which has a product that they sell and another company is trying to use their product outside its intended use zone which is outside the zone of known temperature and pressures and at which their product is known to uh, operate at uh, this is an ethical dilemma because there is no right or wrong answer and the company wants to use it outside the temperature zone and the pressure zones that they suggest their product be used at. Uh, there are things going around about saying the product may fail, but in addition, they're saying there's a possibility that it could harm the customer's customers uh, by failing. And this is a lot of ambiguous information um, and it's not really known whether the product will or will not. It is known that the product operates well within the zone of tolerance, but it's not known if the product is dangerous if it's used outside that zone. So it's ambiguous, and I don't think uh, the ambiguous information should always be included in such a situation <clears throat> and in business. Because if it is, if the ambiguous information is used, then this company and Engineers International will not be able to establish a relationship with the customer that wants to buy their product, which is a huge hit because it's a very big customer. Um, so I think I would tell the customer that they could use it and maybe set some grounds um, as far as like if they do use it outside the pressure and temperature ranges that they suggest that maybe they should do a couple tests or like they should... Uh, do some improvement upon the product for future use um, just to ensure that the possibility that it does harm someone doesn't happen um, even though that's not known for sure um, because the temperature zones and pressures outside the range they know aren't really known if the product will fail or cause injury um, so the theory I'm going on is uh, consequentialism, which says that you should do what causes the most happiness and the most well-being for everyone involved. And I think by establishing a relationship with a company and allowing them to use the product, uh, the company is going to benefit and Engineers International benefit because that's a huge customer and they could work together to possibly improve the product they have now to make it even better to possibly decrease the chance that it does hurt someone even though that's not known that's very ambiguous to say that um i think the assumptions being made by the opposing side <clears throat> are nothing but assumptions and they're very ambiguous so the proponents might propose that in a kantianism, kantianism ethics I mean, they might propose that they're going to uh, cause harm. Using the product in this manner is going to cause harm to the customers, possibly. It's not known, but Kantianism says that it's our duty to protect people from harm if known that harm could happen. But in this case, the harm is not known if it will happen for sure. It's just a suggestion that it may or may not. It's unknown at this point point in time so I say we let them use it for now and then maybe improve upon it and make it even better better for the customer and everyone's going to benefit more by taking the uh, consequentialism approach um, and then maybe building upon that to improve the product eventually down the road um, <clears throat> the benefits like I said is the company is going to benefit and the customer is going to benefit. Um, it's going to create a lot of happiness and a lot of well-being uh, between that relationship. And if the product could possibly, the product's good, it could possibly help the consumers as well, as long as it's not causing harm. 
um, which is not known once again. Um, and that is it. Thank you.